Some security concerns ahead of tonight's Bernie Sanders rally in Long Beach. A local man was arrested for allegedly threatening a violent attack at that event. Kick on Tom Waite is live in Long Beach right now where that rally went on as planned earlier today. Tom? And Jeff, it certainly did. According to officials here at Long Beach City College, more than 5,000 people attended this rally. We spoke to a number of them. Some of them said they seemed a little nervous about the crowds and the threat, but they were not going to be scared away. A defiant Bernie Sanders took the stage at Long Beach City College, never acknowledging the possible threat made against him or his rally. Over the weekend, Long Beach police were tipped off to what may have been a threat related to the Sanders rally. And Monday, police arrested 27-year-old Jose Rafael Guzman at his home in Huntington Park and booked him on suspicion of making criminal threats and threatening a public officer. And there was some hesitation coming, but you can't live your life in fear. I can't stand, you know, I can't shut myself in my house 24-7. For the thousands who showed up tonight, they no doubt saw the extra police and security and would not be scared away. Unfortunately, there's going to be people that are going to do some, you know, terrible things, and that's just, that's a reality that we're living in now. For somebody to threaten us with violence, thinking that that's going to stop us, you know, taking part in our electoral process is just, it's just disheartening. Although Sanders did not mention the possible threat made against him or the rally, he did spend some time talking about the weekend's horrific mass shootings. Everybody here has seen and heard and been entirely demoralized by the tragedies that we have seen in the last week right here in California, in El Paso, and in Dayton, Ohio. As for the suspect, Guzman, police say he was released on bond. Reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.